Bite wound starting to make me feel sick? I am not op. Original post by you, subject fan 751 in r, ask docs. Mood spoilers. Likely not the scariest outcome. Phew. Less than. Original post, July 6, 2023. Age. 26 gender. Female weight. 163 height. 5 feet 5 medical history. No history of disease, smoking, illness. About two months ago I got bit by a raccoon on my front porch. This was a very unusual and frustrating occurrence because I shoo raccoons off my porch all the time where I live and they usually scatter the first time they see me. The one that bit straight up attacked me aggressively when I tried to shoo him and bit me on the leg. I took the necessary precautions and washed the bite with soap and water to disinfect and put a bandage on it and tried to move on. About two months later the bite still itches and burns and I've been starting to feel tired and sick. Symptoms include fever, headache, nausea, fatigue, and light sensitivity. I hate going to the doctor because they always charge too much but I'm wondering if my symptoms are a coincidence? It's possible the fever and illness are separate from the bite or am I just paranoid, crazy? I've been bitten by animals before and it's never caused me this much trouble. I just don't want to shell out a fortune for a checkup and meds unless it's absolutely necessary. Any suggestions? Comment 3 hours after original post. Have arrived at the hospital. Thanks to everyone for your advice. I feel like the biggest idiot for not taking care of this sooner. Will provide updates when I can. Update July 7, 2023. One day later. Update. Thanks everyone so much for your support and advice. You guys have been amazing. I didn't expect to get this many replies and I don't know why this thread was locked but I'll share. What updates I have here. The doctors don't think it's rabies. They won't know for 100% sure until they do more extensive tests but they're optimistic. Especially since I'm starting to feel better after almost 24 hours of treatment. After the sheer number of different tests I've had. I'm hoping I'll have a more conclusive answer in the next few days but for right now. Things look good. To the people calling me stupid. You're absolutely right and I deserve it. When I was bitten. The people closest to me in my life told me not to worry about it and that I'd be fine. I decided to listen to them instead of my better judgment. Have I heard of rabies before? Yes. I've heard of a number different diseases before. Did I know rabies was this serious? No I did not. Did I know that I might potentially be carrying the most deadly disease in human history in my body? Absolutely not. Otherwise I wouldn't have taken an insane gamble like this. The doctors informed me that rabies is astronomically rare. And although they're going to continue running every test under the sun on me. Right now. My condition fits better with a more standard and less serious infection. They also informed me that what I did was incredibly reckless and dangerous. And that any time I'm scratched or bit by an animal in the future. I should seek medical assistance immediately. The irony of the situation is that I avoided the doctor to save money. But my stay here is going to end up costing me way more than if I had just gone in for a simple shot after getting bit. Some lessons in life need to be learned the hard way. But I'd much rather have a massive bill on my hand than end up in a coffin. The amount of positive and uplifting DMS I've been receiving has been nothing short of amazing. You guys are absolutely some of the nicest most thoughtful people I've ever met. And I never expected that from strangers who don't know me personally. I'll try and share more updates in the coming days but for now I'm just going to keep resting. Thanks guys again. Your support means the world to me. And thanks for helping me realize what an idiot I've been. I definitely needed a wake-up call. Editing to add final update for completion's sake. Though it was just made today. Sorry mods if this is not allowed. I can remove. 
Final Update July 14, 2023 Second Update I have almost made a complete and total recovery. I'm back home and I have resumed my normal life. So what happened exactly? The doctors believe that it was my constant picking, rubbing, and scratching at my wound as it was trying to heal that caused the infection to get in. Not from the animal bite itself. Which would explain why it took so long for me to actually get sick from it. Looking back on this whole situation, I can't believe how much all of this could have been avoided with a simple doctor checkup. This is by far the dumbest thing I have ever done in my life. And I wanted to thank you all for helping to realize what a fool I've been for putting it off as long as I did. With my life going back to normally slowly, I don't think I'll be updating this post anymore. But I appreciate all the support and the much needed criticism I've received. I'll be taking it all to heart to hopefully make better decisions with my health in the future. Thanks everyone again and I hope you all have long healthy happy lives. Reminder I am not the original poster. There was a second update added to the first post. Second update. I have almost made a complete and total recovery. I'm back home and I have resumed my normal life. So what happened exactly? The doctors believe that it was my constant picking, rubbing, and scratching at my wound as it was trying to heal that caused the infection to get in. Not from the animal bite itself. Which would explain why it took so long for me to actually get sick from it. Looking back on this whole situation, I can't believe how much all of this could have been avoided with a simple doctor checkup. This is by far the dumbest thing I have ever done in my life. And I wanted to thank you all for helping to realize what a fool I've been for putting it off as long as I did. With my life going back to normally slowly, I don't think I'll be updating this post anymore. But I appreciate all the support and the much needed criticism I've received. I'll be taking it all to heart to hopefully make better decisions with my health in the future. Thanks everyone again and I hope you all have long healthy happy lives. The post-exposure rabies shot is prohibitively expensive for a lot of people. Insurance thankfully covered mine. If they hadn't I would have had to pay $8,000 for the initial shot alone. It's a deterrent which is terrible because rabies is 100% fatal if not treated quickly. I mean. The fact that some of us, myself included, live in a world where we have to weigh the pros and cons of going to the doctor or going into medical debt is the real villain here. The one that bit straight up attacked me aggressively. Wow. An alarm siren immediately started in my head. Screaming rabies. 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 Good for her if that's not it, but I hope she'll have more checkups in the following months. It's not only deadly. It's also an incredibly painful and miserable protracted agony. Okay, so first, the American healthcare systems suck and hard. But also, rabies is 100% fatal if untreated immediately. I got close to a bat once and had a weird scratch on my abdomen. You'd best believe I went to get checked out and got the goddamn vaccine and antibodies. Damn I'm gonna assume OOP is from the US how do people survive there with no free healthcare. I am so angry and upset for Americans. I wouldn't even think twice about seeing a doctor. Anytime rabies comes up I immediately think of scrubs. At least she knows she was stupid. My husband's grandma got bitten by a raccoon last summer. Very much her own fault. 20-30 rabies shots later. She's doing okay now. And. Now that we know she's okay. My mother-in-law got her raccoon socks for Christmas last year. I have other raccoon themed plans for her this year. Thankfully. I haven't done anything this embarrassing since I've been part of the family but I know my day is coming lol. 
I saw a headline this morning about someone that got bitten by a rabid beaver. I don't understand how someone can be so cavalier about a wild animal bite. My indoor only cat bit me when I was helping her get unstuck from a baby gate. It was at midnight and I washed, bandaged. It you bet my hand was swollen the next morning. Off to urgent care for TDAP and antibiotics. I also got a call from animal control because I'd reported it as a cat bite. My BFF ended up in the hospital on IV antibiotics for a bad cat bite. Someone brushing off a raccoon bite is just astounding to me. After I read, raccoon, I was certain this was ending in rabies. Glad not. I read light sensitivity and was like, yup, she's already gone. I feel like a lot of the posts in the sub are about unfathomably stupid people. Like, she got bit by a raccoon and just bandaged it up? Cripplingly stupid. I got bit by a raccoon cue incoherent screaming. Just wanted to share what happens when people get rabies and it goes untreated. It's a truly terrible way to die. Shitty parents let their kid die. HTTPS WWW The Daily Beast Com, 7-year-old Texas boy dies of bat bite in Rarirabies case CDC says. Old man dies after refusing treatment. HTTPS slash slash amp dot cnn dot com slash cnn slash 2021 slash 09 slash 29 slash us slash illinois rabies death slash index dot html tell me you live in america without telling me you live in america universal medicare for all y'all raccoons carry rabies you are so lucky I didn't know rabies could be that serious. Someone needs to watch, old yeller. You missed the second update at the top. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.